Hello and welcome to Indelible Gaming. I'm Tommy and today I'm going to be showing you how to plug in your Astro A40 TRs into your computer and into the Xbox One so that you can chat on your Xbox One but also get PC sound. So without further ado, let's dive in. If this isn't the setup that you're looking to be, make sure you click on these annotations around me. If you don't have annotations on, you should totally turn them on. I'm also going to have a playlist of all the different ways that you can plug in your Astro A40 TRs into different things. So if you're curious about something else, make sure to check out my other videos. The things you will need for this setup are the following. Almost everything comes with the Astro A40TRs except the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. So you're going to need the Astro A40TR headset, the inline mute cable, or any kind of four pole cable that connects your headset to your mix amp, the microphone that came with the headset, mix amp pro TR, the micro USB to USB, a digital optical cable, even though that's a digital optical cable, and the thing that is not included in the Astro A40TR box, a 3.5 millimeter cable. It can be a four pole or it can be a three pole. Either one works. And of course, an Xbox One and a PC. Before you ask, this is the only way that I know of that allows you to have sound on your computer while chatting on the Xbox One, unless if you use the Xbox app on your PC to chat in a party. So as usual, I'm going to start with the micro USB to USB and the Mixamp Pro TR. So this little end goes into the top of your Mixamp where it says USB. The other end of the USB is going to go into one of the three slot USB slots on your Xbox One. You've got one right here on the side and then you've got two on the back of your console. Then we're going to grab the SPIF cable, or the digital optical cable. One end is going to plug in right here where it shows your optical cable. And then the other end is going to plug into the back of your Xbox One where there is the digital optical port. And sometimes it doesn't always want to plug in, so make sure that you get that guy plugged in snugly. Or you won't be getting any sound on your Xbox. The next thing I'm going to grab is the inline mute cable. So there are two ends here. The one that has the mute closest to it is going to plug into your Astro A40 headset. The other end is going to plug into the bottom of your mix amp where you see the headset logo. And then you're going to need a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. So one end where it says aux right here on the bottom of your mix amp you plug into. And then the other end is going to plug into your computer in the sense of my laptop. I've got a little slot right there. And then we plug it into there. And now you're all set up. The only other thing that you need to do now that you've got your 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable plugged into your computer is just go down over to the speaker playback devices and then you're just going to, so right now you can see my headphones and stuff but that's because I have it plugged into the computer but you won't see these options. So in that case you're just going to want to make sure that you choose whatever your normal default sound is so it'll most likely be like a real tech digital output or something like that as you're default device and then you will use your little volume bar to decide how loud or not loud you want your music or YouTube or whatever it is that you're playing on your computer to be. Make sure of is that our power button right here is on a red ring. Right now I have it as a white ring because I'm using it in PC mode because I'm recording my voice on my PC but you want to make sure that this button is surrounded by red. If you see white like I am showing you right now make sure you hold down that power button for around three seconds and it'll switch over to red. You see headset assigned that means means that your Xbox is reading your headset which is very important so make sure you do see that sign. One thing to note as well is that the Mixamp Pro TR, you don't need to plug anything into your controller. Everything, the microphone is actually through the micro USB to USB, so that's what makes it great.
Now we're going to hop into the settings for the Xbox One. Next, we have to do some simple steps on the Xbox One. So here we are on the Xbox Home dashboard. So you're going to double tap the Home button. Then you're going to go scrolling down to Settings, which I went past. All Settings. You're going to scroll down to Display and Sound. Go over to Audio Output for the HDMI Audio Stereo Uncompressed. Astro says that you should turn this off. However, if you record on Twitch or you record for YouTube or record whatever using a capture card, you need your HDMI audio. So you want to make sure you keep that on. So I'm going to keep it on for my own settings since I make YouTube videos. And then for the optical audio, you're going to want Bitstream out. And then for the format, you're going to want Dolby Digital. Yes, some people feel like you should have DTS Digital Surround Sound. However, this... this Mixamp does not support DTS surround sound, it supports Dolby Digital, and yes, you will be getting the full 7.1 surround sound, so make sure you click that. So, that wraps up this video. If you have a question, please leave it in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a dislike. And, of course, if you've been following my content for a while, please do subscribe. I'd also really appreciate it if you're new to my channel to check out some of my other content. And if you like what you see, please do subscribe as well. All right, I will catch you and your beautiful face on the next one. See ya!